I'm gonna throw out the rest of these. <laughs> Shit, my bad. Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabe Tran. As some of you guys might know, I work with another YouTuber, Richie Lee. Every now and then he gets booked by college groups from around the countries to speak at their school. And recently he was asked to come out to Loyola. Loyola. Loyola University of Chicago. Now normally these are solo shows that he puts on, but me being an aspiring YouTuber, he invited me out to open for him. Just dapped up with Young Buck. What I up? just uh, met Young Buck from G Unit. What? <laughs> I just met Who's Young Buck? Buck. I don't even know. You don't know who Young Buck was? Who's Young Buck? The G, -G, -G Unit. I don't. So I don't you know. Wanna ride with me? Oh. Young Buck. Young Buck. He was here. Come on, ride with Young Buck. Shotty wanna ride with me. Like I was saying, now I gotta fix my framing and shit. All right, so I saw this as an opportunity to grow, step out of my comfort zone, but I'll be real with you. I am pretty damn nervous about this. I mean, what am I even supposed to say? And why would anyone even listen to me? At the time of this recording, I only got about like 300 subs, a little less than 300 subs, and that ain't shit. Hi. Hello. Alright, so our plane was uh, delayed because one of the starters on the engine failed. They're pulling in to replace it right now. Uh, not gonna lie, makes me a little nervous about this flight. Engine's engine. Here's the hoping uh, we don't die. The plane is officially out of service. We gotta switch on to another plane. That might have been the safer choice anyways, but now we're gonna be delayed like two, three hours. Not ideal, but better than dying. Apparently, uh, American Airlines is copping us for some food for our troubles. Michael, are drinks included in a meal? No alcohol. Could I get one for my friend? They gave us $12 vouchers to buy any food we want. I got two of them. I see this uh, bagel bakery here. Yo, that look fire. Uh, tomato. $13.91. Thank you. Chicken, bacon, ranch, pizza sauce, and uh, mozzarella on top. Fire. <clears throat> Outside for good luck. Finally, we can get out of the cold. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's not too far. Twenty-nine minutes. Twenty-nine. We just got to the hotel. There's no one at the front desk. Hey, they got a snack bar over here. One of them noticed if I uh, just grab a few and put it in my bag. Ooh, Nutella. Yo, they even got cup noodles on deck. All right, so at the time I agreed to do this event, my plan was to get as many subs as I could before the show. The goal was 5,000 subs. Not a lot, but it was a good base point. Obviously, I did not hit that goal. Getting y'all to subscribe was a little bit more tricky than I thought. But you know, I did some thinking, and you know what I realized? That sub count don't really matter. Well, 
It does, but what I mean is, we all have a story. Attention customers and inbound friends. Trying to log here, lady. What I mean is, we all have a story to tell, no matter how accomplished or unaccomplished we may be. And sometimes we might not think that story is worth telling, but ultimately, it's up to those who will listen to draw what value they can from it. So as scary as it may be, just go and put yourself out there. Cause you don't know what kind of impact you might make until you try. I got my first fanboy. Yeah. He just took a selfie with me and he wants me to sign this Pokemon card. Subscribe to number 267. Yep, yep. yeah. I actually want to take a picture of Hey, Gabe. That's crazy. I'm going to do that. Can I get it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Having me sign and stuff? Oh, man. I'm feeling the love already. Cool. The PSA squad's taking us out to go eat right now. We're about to mob up a shop. Time to try some uh, Chicago fuzz. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. It's different. Very about uh, peppery. What's your favorite? And sweet. Yo, Rich. How do you think uh, today went? Pretty good, pretty good. Not a crazy turnout, but a uh, good crowd. Thought Gabe did a good job. Isn't it funny, like, pre before the show, you kind of have, like, this rush through you. Like, oh, sh you know, you don't really think about anything else but your performance, right? Yeah, and then once you're on stage, the adrenaline just hits and you just did bang you, it were out. Were you nervous? I, I was nervous going up to it, but then once I was on stage, I think I was cool. Anyways, I just want to say uh, thanks for inviting me out. That was definitely a learning experience for me. Thanks for helping me uh, push my comfort zones. No diggity, no doubt. Oh, you did a montage? All right, man, just got back from Chicago. Actually, uh, I got back quite a while ago. I just wanted to do that so, you know, it's a continuous flow, you know? <laughs> but anyways, that was my first time, you know, doing a little talk, doing a little something like that. And I really didn't know what to expect. It was definitely an experience. And in the end, it kind of surprised me. I had no idea how these people were gonna receive me because, you know, no, nobody knew who I was. So I wasn't really sure if anything I was gonna say was even gonna get through to them. But yo, check out this IG post. Someone tagged me in it. This is from uh, Koji. I met some of the most influential people there could be. Richie and his crew have taught me that it's okay to be Vietnamese and to embrace that side of me, which has made me appreciate not only my background and my culture, but myself. Richie and Gabe took their time today to speak on their experience growing up with the struggles that exist with being a Vietnamese child from the Yale to jail story and pursuing passions advice. That, that was my segment. Which means the world to me since they didn't have to but chose to go the extra mile. Man, that just make me feel warm and fuzzy inside, you know? If I was able to inspire one person in whatever way, you know, I consider that a success. 
If I was able to inspire someone, I'm sure you guys can too. What I'm trying to say is just put yourself out there because you don't know whose lives you can influence. God, how are you going to turn off the lights on me while I'm trying to deliver the punchline? All right, man, remember to like and subscribe because that helps me out. And the more you guys help me out, the more I can help out you guys. Spread the vision, spread the love, and I'll see you guys in the next one.